Today I'm going to walk you through getting started on a two-point perspective castle. For the castle, you will need a pencil with an eraser, a ruler, and a white piece of paper. This white piece of paper is 12 by 18 inches long. When you do your lines for your castle, you have to make sure not to push too hard with the pencil because a lot of them you will have to erase later on. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to make our horizon line. Our horizon line is the line that separates the earth from the sky. When you do your horizon line, it should be pretty close to the center, but you don't have to measure it. So I'm going to put my ruler down and draw my horizon line. Again, you will erase a lot of this later, so make sure that you don't make it too dark. The next thing we need to do is establish our vanishing points. For a one-point perspective project, you have one vanishing point, a lot of the times in the center, that everything vanishes towards. For a two-point perspective, you're going to have a vanishing point on the left and a vanishing point on the right. So, what I want you to do next is put your vanishing point on the very edge of your horizon line on the left and the very edge of your horizon line on the right. Our next step is to make the corner of our castle. To do the corner of your castle, usually I like to have it in the center, but you don't have to measure it if you don't want to. So, since my paper is 18 inches long, I'm going to make a mark at 9 inches. The next thing I'm going to do is establish the size of the castle. And I'm going to do this by the corner of the castle. So usually you're going to have your castle come down a little ways from the horizon line on the bottom and then go up from a little, a little ways from the horizon line. If you're doing a two or a three story castle, you don't want that line to go up as far because you don't have room for the other castles then, or the other layers of the castle. This video though, however, is just the one story castle. Okay, the next thing we need to do is we need to connect the center line or the corner of our castle to our vanishing points. So I'm going to start on the left side and go from the bottom to the vanishing point on the left and then from the top to the vanishing point on the left. And I'm going to do the same thing on the right side. Make sure that when you position your ruler it's on the vanishing point as well as that point right there. Okay, the next thing we need to do is we need to end our castle. At this point, it looks like our castle goes on forever. So what we are going to need to do is to make parallel lines to the center line. Remember, parallel lines are two lines that will never intersect, so they go right next to each other. If you have one line that's like this and one line that's like this, they're not parallel, and your castle will also look like it's going to fall over. Okay, so you kind of can just decide where you want the castle wall to end. I'm going to have a castle that's a little longer. So I'm going to go over to here. So I should double check to make sure this line is parallel with this line. And then make that. I want this side to be the same length as this side. So I'm actually going to measure to see how far that is. And then make a little mark. You don't have to measure. Okay, so now I'm going to make another parallel line where I want my castle to end on the left side. Okay, the next thing that I need to do is I need to erase the unnecessary lines. So the first thing that I'm going to erase are the vanishing lines that are not part of the castle building. On both sides. The second thing I need to erase is the horizon line that goes through the castle. Okay, 
So that is the base of a one-story castle.